Francis Ogano versus John Jones, who will win? Well, let's look at their previous performances against the same opponent. Now, Francis Ogano fought Gain, in which he won by unanimous decision. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I thought Gain got robbed. I thought Gain won that fight. But either way, he won by unanimous decision. Now, John Jones also fought Gain this year by submission in round one. So if we're going based off recent performances against the same opponent, John Jones wins. Now, let's be honest here. All Francis has is power and a decent striking game. That's all he has. But if John Jones was to use his wrestling skills and his ground control, there's no way Francis Ngano could last even three rounds with John Jones. And again, if we're going striking-wise, John Jones' striking game is also good. Maybe not as good as Francis Ngannou, but he's still good at striking. Because I've never seen Francis Ngannou throw a decent kick. All I've seen him throw is good right hooks. That's it. I understand that people say that that's even if you get Francis on the ground. But let's be honest here. It's John Jones. He's going to get you on the ground whether you want it or not. We've seen what happened against DC. Kick to the body. Caught. Down. And on top. A big opponent, and he still got him on the ground. So again, if we're going off their latest performances against the same opponent, I have John Jones every single day, 24-7, 10 out of 10 fights, winning Francis Ogano. Now, everybody knows everything about John Jones. Everybody knows the way he fights and his IQ and how smart of a fighter he is. But let's talk about Francis Ngannou and Suron Gain because I think this really matters. And this should be really taken into account to see who will actually win. If we've seen the Suron Gain versus Francis Ngannou fight, we could see that Francis Ngannou wasn't able to, you know, fight the way he fights and knock him out. Why is that? It's because Suron Gain is a pretty smart fighter. The way he was keeping his range, the way he was using his legs, his knees, everything. And when they went on the ground, Francis Ngannou couldn't outperform him because Suron Gan is a smart fighter. His IQ is there. And that's why we see Francis Ngannou, he was slowing down. He looked very exhausted. It looked like he was guessing out only because Suron Gain was hurting him because he wasn't trying to go in there and rush things and be aggressive. He was playing it smart. He was being effective. And that's why Francis Ngannou had to take it to the decisions. But here's the thing. Francis Ngannou has an upcoming fight with Tyson Fury, and supposedly this will prove who's the baddest man on the planet. But at the same time, I don't think we could use this regardless if Francis Ngannou beats Tyson Fury only because it's half a fight. It's not the same thing as going against John Jones, and John Jones could use his legs. You know, he could use his elbows, his knees. He could go on the ground. So although Francis Ngannou's chances are very slim, regardless if he beats Tyson Fury, I still think he has a chance. But overall, if we're taking everything into account, John Jones should win this fight easily the same way he beat Saron Gaines.